hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making this stunning ruffly bow and on this one I made it so that the bow is symmetrical but on this one I'm going to show you how to do it so it's the opposite way around if that makes sense so obviously this side sort of swirls round to the bottom and this side swirls round to the bottom I'm going to do this one so that one swirls round to the top and one to the bottom to give it a different look so I will show you how to do that as well as this one. These beautiful gems, they came from AliExpress, as did my ribbon as well. So I will link all of these below. So for this bow, you need four pieces of ribbon. Now, as you can see, I've already doubled mine up. You need one and a half inch wide ribbon or four centimeters wide. And you need to cut all four pieces to 40 centimeters in length. Now I've used a shimmer ribbon and a matching solid color ribbon. You could use a patterned ribbon, you could use both solid colors, whichever you prefer, it's totally up to you. You can get lots of different looks from this hair bow. So as you can see, I've already joined these together at both ends and to do that, you simply layer both of the ribbons together, then take and heat from a lighter, just run the lighter along the end and keep pressing in the ends together and then the flame will melt the ends of the ribbon and form like a glue as it cools down and it will bond together. Next you need to take some pins and we're going to grab our tape measure and measure Ten and a half centimeters and then just pop a pin in there like that and then down to the bottom end of the ribbon the same again ten and a half centimeters and pop a pin in like that and then do the same with the other piece so now we've got four points marked on our ribbon both at ten and a half centimeters in from the edges and then using these as a guide we're going to sew all the way in between those two pins so beginning from this first one on the right I'm going to put my needle in around three millimeters from the edge and up against this first pin and I'm going down in through my shimmer ribbon and then I'm going to continue stitching all the way across, leaving around just under a centimetre space, making sure I keep it straight. Just going in and out all the way across till I get to the other pin. coming out just by the last pin so we've got this now these stitches all the way across I'm going to remove those pins just pop that one up there for now and then we can pull this tight to form a ruche
I'm using extra strength thread that is really important for these bows because obviously you have to pull this very tight to get a nice pinch in there and if you have standard thread you'll find that that will snap easily so do make sure you use an extra strength thread now I'm just going in through this end a couple of times and that is just to form a knot so for this last loop I'm not going to pull it tight I'm going to go through that loop a couple of times and then pull it tight and that will form a knot to hold that in place so this is what we've got now and I'm just going to trim off this thread and then I'll just pop a knot in the end of this one to use on the rest of the sewing so this is what we've got now next we're going to flip it upside down I want to have my shimmer on the top you can have it whichever way you prefer you can either have the shimmer on the top or this on the top and then the shimmer showing underneath but I like to have the shimmer on the top so I'm going to flip it over so I've got this U shape with my matte colour underneath and I'm going to bring these two pieces down cross them over you can see the little stitch part in the middle and I'm just going to flip it over again now this is where you want to remember which one is over the top so we've got our left side overlapping the right so if you want it like I said on this one on the other half of the bow you'll want to overlap it the opposite way and if you do both sides of the bow the opposite way you'll get a symmetrical look but for this one, we've got to remember which one we're overlapping. So we're overlapping the left over the right, and we'll do the same with the other half so that we get the opposite effect on the bow. Now I'm just grabbing a clip, and I'm just going to clip this in place here, just to hold these upwards and then I'm going to level these two off so that they're straight and I'm bringing this one which is on the top keeping it over the top and we're overlapping it by around a half a centimeter I'll just explain that again so this top one level it off keep it on the top overlap it by around a half a centimeter and then again taking the heat from a lighter just bond that little overlapped part together so using the heat from the flame to melt the ends of the ribbon and then as it cools it will form a bond so just let that cool for a couple of seconds so now it looks like this Next, we're going to fold these down. So you fold it down and then I'm flipping it over. And lining that up with the end of this ruche part as well. So now we've got this shape and that is basically one half of the bow now ready to sew so taking my needle and thread again we're going to start on this side on the right I always work from right to left and we're going to do four stitches so one two three and then the fourth one coming up where they overlap and I'm kind of putting the needle at an angle to come out next to this ruche part and then we're going to go through all of this part so my needle is now going to go through this end all the way through so 
So I'm just going to use my desk for some added pressure. So it goes all the way through like that. And then pull it all the way through. And then we're going to continue with another four stitches on this other half. So we're going to go back in just next to that one on the overlap piece at the bottom. So just next to that one. And then another three, one, two, three, coming out through the end. So this is what it looks like on the underside. And then I'm going to remove this clip now. And I'm going to pull in that pinch. Again, like I said, you need double strength or extra strength thread to do this because you do really need to pull that tight. And then once you've got that tight and keeping it gripped, I'm just going to go in through the end to form a knot and hold it all in place. And trim off that excess thread and that is that first half of the bow complete and now we're going to do those exact same steps with the other half so again I'm just going to knot the end of my thread and then I'm going to sew in in, out, in, out, all the way along till I come out at the other side. If you want to pause the video here, you can, because I'm going to pause the recording. So do pause it if you're working along with the video, and then I'll come back on here and show you after I've sewn the pinch in. So we have the other half now with that lovely little ruched effect on there. So again, we're going to turn it the other way, and we're going to fold these down or up should I say bring those up so you've got that ruchy part showing in the middle and again we need to remember to fold over the right the left over the right like we did on the last one and this will give us that opposite look so again I'm going to pop my clip on there to hold this in place bring these two in line using my flame to bond those little overlap edges together folding this down I'm doing this one a little bit quicker because obviously I'll already show you on this half so going through this one a little bit quicker and now we're ready to sew in the pinch so four stitches one two three coming up through the very edge of that overlap beside this middle pinch and then going through that pinch this pinch we already have in the middle going through all of those layers that was easier when took the first one you always find you get one half which works easier than the other going back in through the other side of that little overlap piece making sure that they're in place and then three more stitches one two three coming out through the last corner move that clip and once that's all in line 
can pull in that pinch, give it a real good pull. And then once that's nice and tight, keeping it pinched whilst you knot off the end. So going in once, and then on this second one, I'm going to go, oh, I've lost it, that's okay. I'm going to go through this loop to form a knot. And then trim off the excess thread and that little piece there as well. So that's the other half done. Now, as you can see, if I pop these together, we've now got one swirling upwards and one swirling downwards. Whereas this one, I made them both swirl downwards or you can have them both swirling upwards, whichever way you prefer really. But that is the way I did this one. So now I'm just going to grab my hot glue gun and we can glue these two halves together. So I'm just going to grab this half of the bow and pop some glue along that middle piece and then grabbing the other half push those together and I'm just going to hold them there for a few seconds to make sure the hot glue takes So this is what we've got now. And now we're ready to add a clip. So I've already lined a 55 millimeter tooth clip in a matching ribbon, well as matching as I possibly could. And I'm going to place some glue along the top of that clip and across to the underside of my bow. Now to wrap around the centre, I don't have a one centimetre wide ribbon in this matching colour unfortunately. So I'm going to cut a strip off around a centimetre wide by around 14 centimetres in length. I'm actually just doing this by eye. And then on this raw edge, on the reel, I'm going to heat seal that edge just so it doesn't fray in storage. And then I can use another strip of that for next time. So I can now store this in my ribbon drawer and use that next time. And then I'm going to also heat seal the raw edge on the piece I've just cut off. Because we're sticking the gem on, it don't matter too much because you don't see this middle part. And I'm going to start on the top half of my bow. So I'm going to place some glue on one end. Place it across that centre join. And then start wrapping that around the centre. As I said, you won't see this part because we're going to cover it. to finish off by gluing this down at the top so 
So this is what we've got now. And then we're ready to add our gorgeous gemstone. Now to attach these, we are going to use gemstone glue. Now, as I said in my last video, I need a new one and I still haven't bought a new one. This one is totally starting to dry out. But we're also going to use hot glue as well. I like to use a mix because this take a while to dry. I'm talking like hours to properly fully cure and then it holds really tightly. So I use hot glue as well to hold it in place while the gemstone glue sets. So I've cut off a little oval shape because this is obviously sort of oval shaped. There's a piece of scrap felt and I'm going to hot glue this onto the back of the gem. Because hot glue works really well with felt. So by sandwiching this in the middle, that helps the hot glue to work. And then using the gemstone glue, that adds even extra security. So I'm just going to remove this lid and see if I can scoop out some glue because I am in desperate need of some new glue. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I have scraped out some gemstone glue from my awful bottle. I promise I will get some new one for the next tutorial. And I have popped it all around the edges of this piece of felt and I've kept the middle bare for my hot glue. So I'm going to hold this so I'm ready to stick it down and I'm going to carefully place some hot glue in the middle of all that gemstone glue, being careful not to mix it too much. And then I'm going to place that in the centre of my bow. And then the hot glue is then going to hold that in place almost immediately. And then once the gemstone glue set, that will be nice and firm on the bow. And there you go. That is your finished hair bow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell button to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye-bye for now.